Hi there. I want to step you through an After Effects script called Codependencies. If you're like me, you probably like to keep your source files organized in a single project directory. But during the process of a project, things can get sloppy. I might bring in things directly from an external hard drive, from a server, from a, my downloads folder. In this case, I've got a very messy project where a few files are in my project directory, but most of them are not. I could click individually on each one, find them in the operating system, migrate them over to my chosen directory, and then go back into After Effects and relink each file individually. It's very tedious. Another option could be to use the dependencies pull-down, collect files, and then consolidate each of my projects individually. This will duplicate all files in each project, even if the same file is used in multiple projects. So what I'm going to do instead is use a codependency script, gather linked files, and navigate to the footage parent folder where I want to keep all the files from my project. This will go through all the source files in my project and determine which ones already exist in my designated directory. It will then give me the option to copy anything outside of the directory into this directory. I'm going to hit OK. Here's a list of all the files that it's copied over. And as you look through here, if you take the time to look through, you'll see that every single item is linked to a file that is inside my project directory. So I have a few more projects inside my folder. These ones are a little bit simpler, but do have the same problem. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so now I have all my source files in a single project directory. Makes it a lot easier to archive because everything is consolidated and just keeps everything organized. So now all of my necessary files are consolidated. The other side of that coin is that I have a number of files inside this directory that I don't need to archive. I don't need to archive files that I'm not using. So I'll use the cleanup function of codependencies. For each project, I'm going to click Analyze. It's going to ask me to navigate to an existing project report if it exists, but in this case it does not. So I'm just going to navigate to my project folder where this file can be saved. Window will pop up just listing the source files that exist inside this project. I'll hit OK and move on to the next project. The script should remember the location where the most recent project report was saved. And I'll just go ahead and move forward with this one that exists from the previous project. Now the files from this project have been added to the list. And one more time with this project here. As you can see, the list is much longer because this project uses quite a bit of footage. If I want to take a look at the contents of this analysis file, click on here and it'll bring up this same window. Now I'm just going to go ahead and choose remove unused files. It's going to prompt me to choose a directory to clean up. And in my case, it's the same directory uh, that I used in gather linked files. So I'll navigate there and hit OK. Now, as you can see, several files have been moved into a subfolder called Codep Cleanup. These are all the files that were not used in any of the designated projects. And if I need to restore them back to their locations, I can click Restore Removed Files. I'll just navigate, and the files have already been moved back. The Codep Cleanup directory still exists, but it's now empty. I actually do want these files removed, so I'm just going to re-remove them now. Here they are. I'm just going to delete them. Now my project directory has all the files that I need and none of the files that I don't need. There are a few options you can use here. If you would rather move the files 
which removes them from their original location. Instead of copy, you can do that. Maybe you've already manually moved files into your directory and you don't want to move anything new. You only want to link to files that have duplicates within your directory. You can do that. Uh, if you only want to select project items that would have been affected, that's an option too. I have a lot of data to consolidate, maybe several long image sequences. This can be time consuming. Here you can set a threshold that if the data to be moved or copied exceeds this amount, it will launch a terminal or command prompt script that will automatically continue the copying. This will prevent long data transfers from holding up your After Effects application. You can continue to work as the files transfer over. I can also choose to run only on selected items. I can choose to remove proxies as it goes through. This script will properly copy and relink proxy files for any of these items, but as a convenient function, maybe you want to remove all proxies in your project. This will allow that. When files are copied over, you can choose to use the After Effects folder hierarchy that you have here. And in this case, all of these source files will be moved into an operating system folder called stock instead of into the parent folder directly. And by default, it will save a log file showing the actions that were just taken, but you can turn that off too. Moving down into the cleanup functions, I can choose to use terminal or command prompt, just like up with migrate. If I'm cleaning up the directory and I don't need any of the source files that are used as proxies, click here. And I also have the ability to remove any directories that are left empty. I can choose to skip files based on file extension. So maybe I have text files in here. Maybe I don't want to affect anything with a JPEG extension. I can choose to skip that here. I can skip anything with certain characters in the path. And so maybe I have a subfolder called skip. Everything in that skip folder will be skipped. Also, if you have these characters anywhere in the file path. If you want to skip any files based on size, uh, some that are very large or very small, it's up to you. Codependencies will save the directory locations that I've chosen. I can manually navigate to new directories without fully running the script or reset these to default, which will prompt me to new directories when I run the script. I'll generally run this when I'm working in a new After Effects project directory, and I don't want to run this script based on paths of my previous project. A quick note, I want to mention that one of the Achilles heels for codependencies are layered at Illustrator or Photoshop files. If you run the migrate function, gather linked files. It will, in fact, copy the source file over to where you choose, but unfortunately it cannot relink the individual layers just because of limitations within the After Effects script API. You will need to relink those manually. So there you go, codependencies. I hope you find it useful. I certainly do.